there's like a breeze coming through. Hi there, I hope you're doing well. My name is Yumi. I'm the artist behind Yumi in Color. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my front yard. It is a beautiful, beautiful day today. It's been raining a ton recently, so today's kind of like the first sunny weather in a uh, past couple days and it is so beautifully lush outside and the green is just so, it's just like, it's just so good. I love being outside when it's nice like this. Today's video, it's just gonna be a cozy studio vlog. Uh, it probably will be like a random assortment of video footage I've taken from the past couple weeks, ranging from me packaging orders, working in my sketchbook, uh, working on Patreon fun mail art, things like that. So uh, expect to see those in this video today. I hope you enjoy this video and yeah, we're just gonna get started. This is definitely my favorite time of the day. It's when a golden hour hits my studio and I get to package orders in the beautiful golden light of the afternoon. bags I designed finally came in the mail and this is what it looks like. This was a wonderful collaboration that I did with no issue. So here we have some persimmons, a nappy cabbage, some tangerines, and then we have some cosmos flowers and peppers. 
These are all the things that I saw during my time in the Korean countryside and they were just so, it was just felt so nostalgic looking at those pieces. And I really wanted to create a design with it that would be great as a tote bag. So this one would be really great for groceries or like, you know, if you go to the bookstore for books or art supplies, things like that. I've tested the durability of this bag ever since I got it. I've been, every time I go out, I use this bag to kind of see like how much it can carry. And I have put many, many art supplies in here so it is like quite heavy sometimes so I'll put a ton of stuff just to see like how much it can carry and it holds up really well so I'm really excited about how this bag turned out and I love the durability and the fabric quality. I really love how this turned out. Thank you to No Issue for partnering with me on this tote bag collab and for helping me make my design dreams come true. Here is the completed sketchbook page. This was all inspired by my recent walk around my neighborhood and in my backyard. I looked at plants and flowers and just things that I found inspiring for me and that I wanted to add to this spread. So this basically is like a collage of all the things that I saw during my walk and it really helped me feel inspired. I felt like it was a, helpful to me to find inspiration uh, going outside and being in nature and being present with the just the world around me basically like get, getting out of my head and going on a walk really helped me to do that so I really felt like this practice has been so helpful to me especially with creating and feeling inspired to make art like looking at the world around me and the nature things like flowers or plants and all those things have been very encouraging to me as an artist and in feeling inspired to create. So in this page here, I have some persimmon leaves that were inspired by the persimmon tree outside my, in the front of my house. It's a tree that was planted by my dad years ago and it's a really special tree to me and my family because it produces some of the most tastiest persimmons in the fall. And it's like 
a tree that indicates all the seasons to me because in the winter it will be completely barren and then when it comes spring it starts to bloom and then comes summer the leaves just become even more vibrant and even more abundant and starts to grow and grow and then by the time fall comes we have fruit the persimmon fruits that we like to eat and enjoy during the fall so I really love this tree and I really wanted to add it here to my little collage of nature findings from my walk. Here we have some bluebells that I saw on my walk. They were growing on the side of the road and I thought they were so pretty so I really wanted to add it here and then some dandelions as well. We have a lot of dandelions in my neighborhood. It's like all over and it just looks so pretty to me. They kind of remind me of little like suns like a sun ray or sunbeam and I just I just really love seeing these. And then here we have some roses that my grandpa, my Hadabuji, have planted. Here we have some iris flowers as well. These were blooming on in the front yard of my house and I just thought they were so pretty. And I love the, the color arrangement of the iris flowers, like the light green in the middle with yellows and purples and some blues in it as well. It just really, inspired me to create sort of this like color scheme and palette based on those iris flowers. Then here we have some more flowers. I actually have no idea what these flowers are called but they always bloom around this time of the year around the late spring and it's like in a pot uh, right next to my uh, front door and they're just so so vibrant like it's like this fuchsia color in the flowers so I really loved the color of it which is why I added it in here. And then here we have my, my Meshu plum tree. It's a plum tree that my Harabaji, my grandpa, had planted also years ago. I really don't remember when, but it blooms every summer. And the fruit comes during the late summer. And we like to pick the fruit and use it as Meshu cha, which is a Korean, traditional Korean tea, which is really great for like stomach aches and soothing any like bloating and things like that and it's also just super tasty it kind of tastes like a lemonade basically like a like a lemonade tea or something because it's quite tart this peach but it's one of my favorite things in my backyard that I really wanted to implement in here is my patreon fun mail for may i decided to do a print a four by six inch print of a painting i did recently in my sketchbook of some wildflowers i was looking at a picture that i had taken when i was in korea we had stopped by like on the side of the road uh driving through the countryside and there were these beautiful lush wildflowers growing and so this was where the print was inspired by, and I really love how it turned out. The color is very accurate to what the actual painting is like. Oh my gosh, my fingers are so dry. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is what the texture of the paper looks like. I'm going to show you what the actual painting looks like and we can do a little comparison, but I love how it turned out. So here's the actual painting in my sketchbook. I painted this with gouache and then added some texture with color pencils. These were Prisma color pencils, which are my favorite type of color pencils to use. Here I have my matte vinyl clear sticker of a little fruit assortment of just different fruits that I really like, like this persimmon here, a fig, a tangerine, a strawberry, and then a plum over here. Uh, these two, the persimmon and plum, are two things that grow in my backyard. I really wanted to make a little fruit sticker, especially since the summer is coming and it, this felt quite summery to me and I really love how it turned out. This is what it looks like when placed on something like a sketchbook or any surface. The All the white parts here will be clear and then everything that will show up will be of the illustration here. It's probably one of my favorite stickers I've made for my patrons and it's like this and the tangerine sticker I made last month but I really loved how it turned out.
thank you all so much for watching. I hope this vlog was inspiring to you and brought some cozy vibes to you today. If you would like to support this channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Or if you'd like to support me uh, via my Patreon, I'll have the link below as well. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!